Hi, I'm Belinda Allen, and I have another Power BI tiny tip for you. You could see I have my Microsoft Power BI report pulled up. And today I want to talk about field names and hiding fields and what you could do with some of those. Just These are just a few little tips that I want to point out. The first one I want to talk about is the field name. So if I look at this field on the report, I have sum of credit limit amount. That's a pretty big field. If I select this visual, I could see there it is, sum of credit limit amount. If I want to change the field name, so on this visual, it's not saying all of that. It just says credit limit. I don't want to come over here and change the name on the table itself or on the query because that might break a lot of things. I just want to change it for this particular visual because then it'll do some of the auto spacing better. So what I'm going to do uh, while I have the visual selected under values, I'm going to come in and simply click on that drop down list and I could rename the field right here and I'm only renaming it for this visual and look what it does to my table and I might want to do the same thing for the sum of customer balance I might want to rename this too how about outstanding that's better so we have the outstanding amount the credit limit and the available credit and notice how much cleaner it makes this particular table you could rename the values that are being used just for a particular visual so that we know now that makes life a lot easier for us. But what if we hide some of the fields? So I'm going to go ahead and I have customer class in my customer query and I do not have it in my receivable transaction query. I'm going to go ahead and just click on that ellipsis and I'm going to choose to hide that field. I could have also gone over here to report view selected customer class and then right mouse click and choose to hide in report view and I still see the data is there but the column name is dimmed out and I want to talk about what kind of effect this has because I'm a big favor if you need some field for calculations then you have to have it out there but it might confuse some of the end users so I'm a big fan of hiding the field if, if it's possible so First, let's talk about q and A. I'm going to come in and do an insert and insert a q and A visual right here. And I'm going to ask q and A about show customer balance by customer class. Now, you'll notice that it doesn't recognize customer class. I'm just going to stretch over a little bit. It doesn't recognize it. It thinks I'm doing it by customer. It doesn't recognize customer class, even though if I skip back over here, that's obviously a field. So Q&A ignores or cannot read those hidden fields. So I wanted to point that out to you. However, DAX can. So let's go to modeling. We're going to do a new column. And I'm just going to call this customer and class. So I'm just going to do a little concatenation here where I grab the customer name. Let me just look for name. Customer name. Concatenate that with a space. And then concatenate again with the class. And notice that DAX can use that hidden field where Q&A does it. So now I have this customer class thing here. So if I were to come in and replace that in, I can now see the customer name and the customer class affiliated with it. So DAX could use hidden fields, Q&A can't, and you could rename the value names in a particular visual. I hope this tiny tip helps.